Um, we want to welcome everybody today. We want to just welcome everybody today and um, say hello to everybody that's been able to come out today in spite of the rain. We appreciate that you've come out. Thank you very much. Uh, we want to say good morning to everyone and thank you for coming out to pay your respect to local veterans. Um, we ask that if you are a veteran, if you're able to, to raise your hand or to stand up so that we can acknowledge you with a round of applause, please. Thank you. Um, and somebody the other day when I was talking to a veteran actually at one of the VA hospitals said, you know, it's important, everybody always thanks me for my service, but I like to tell them not to forget. So in honor of all our, our veterans, we'd just like to say we'd never forget what you've done for us. Um, And you might be wondering who the two lovely gentlemen are next to me. So we'd like to honor all of our veterans past and present by placing a wreath outside um, in front of our flagpole by our memorial bricks. So today in joining us to do so, we have Chief Petty Officer of the US Coast Guard, Frank Pegluca, and Senior Vice Commander of the VFW Post 1046, Robert Graham. And they will be escorted out by the Brockton Honor Guard. So if you would like to join us in doing so, you can follow Frank and Robert and the Honor Guard out to the pole. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Thank you, everyone. Um, at this time, I'd like to introduce Janice Fitzgerald to say a few words. Good morning, everybody. It's hard to believe it's been a whole year since we were here before doing this event. I have to say you gentlemen are handsome. Thank you so very much. Um, I really don't have anything much to say. Sometimes the less said the better, but I just want to say certainly to our veterans and families of veterans, thank you so very much um, for, for sacrificing what you have. So thank you so very much. Mayor Carpenter, would you please join me? Thank you. You want to stand over here? Well, good morning, everyone. It's a privilege and an honor to be here and to uh, all of those here who have served at any time in any location. Uh, thank you very much for your service. I also want to make sure I thank everyone uh, this morning, the Brockton Police Honor Guard. We have a number of elected officials here. Uh, City Councilor Farwell is here with us right over here. State Rep Jerry Cassidy, City Councilor Nicastro, all the way to this side. So we appreciate those officials joining us here this morning also. Um, and I want to personally thank Frank and Robert who really have this wreath laying thing down to a science now. They've been done quite a few of them. Uh, I had the privilege to be with Robert uh, Veterans Day morning with the VFW Post when uh, we did several uh, wreath ceremonies, at uh, five of them, at various uh, monuments around the city. And I wish more people were out early in the morning to see it because it's really, Council Farwell was at one of them with us there on Legion Parkway. But it's, it's just, it's so moving and powerful uh, to see these tributes uh, on Veterans Day. So I've got to just mention one thing real quick. I had uh, the pleasure to speak with Vincent earlier this morning. And uh, he reminds me of my dad because he's a 93-year-old World War II vet right here. And my dad is 91, also a World War II veteran. So we were talking about the world as it is today and it reminded me of uh, taking my dad to vote uh, on election day this year. So, you know, now and talk about why, why they are the greatest generation and always will be. Uh, 
so bringing my dad to vote, who insisted on voting, um, he can barely walk with a walker. We got to get him up to the curb in Marshfield where he votes. It was a long distance for him to cover. Uh, they asked him if he wanted an accommodation. He said no. Uh, and he worked his way up and he insisted on voting. And I think in my entire life, I don't remember him ever missing an election. So I, I just took that as such a lesson that those who really personally paid the price for our ability to conduct free elections are the ones that appreciate it the most and, and exercise it the most. And so many others of us take so much for granted and, and need to be reminded once in a while, not just on Veterans Day, but to be reminded once in a while of the price that has been paid by so many over so many wars and conflicts so that we can live in the greatest country in the world. So to all the vets here today, thank you for your service. Thank you what you've done for our country. Thank you, Mayor. Michelle?